Hi guys, Frostfang here, and welcome back, of course, once again to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Nando today. This may be one of my last videos on the PTS. I know it's been very, very long. I've made a ton of them, but this has been one of the most important patches, I guess I could say, for Paladins in quite a while. It's like the change from 1.0 to, to 2.0, so obviously they changed a bunch of stuff. Nando is who we're playing today. I don't really know what skin to go for. Helios is one of my faves in Paladins, so I guess we should rock with this. And he's actually had a bunch of stuff changed. I haven't had a crazy amount of people ask me to make a Nando video, and I haven't actually really seen that many people talking about it in the first place because it's a nerf, but it's also a buff in a way, but it's more of a nerf than a buff, I, I guess I could say. So first off, they removed his fourth legendary card, Dragonfire Lance, the one that you saw nobody use because it really didn't make any sense. I don't know why you would pick it. I don't think I've ever actually gone against it, other than maybe once or twice when the person on the enemy team was doing it to BM their teammates. Uh, Scorch no longer deals bonus damage at base. Now it only gives you 45% bonus damage damage for each subsequent hit after your first one so now your fireball will always deal 450 uh, for the first person it hits but after that it deals 45% bonus so you still have the potential to deal like a K with a fireball but just by default it isn't going to deal what it used to deal so it is a little bit weaker in that aspect but the actual amount of damage that you get from subsequent hits is now 45% instead of the 30% so that went up but it doesn't give you the bonus damage at base so it is technically still enough I think he then got a bunch of cards changed and this is I guess where you'll see the most noticeable difference hot pursuit is no longer the card that gives you bonus movement speed. I really like this. I had it at like level 3 or 4. Now it does increase your projectile speed for your fireballs, which wasn't an option before, and I don't know if this is going to be a buff or a nerf because I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but I'm guessing it's a nerf because the bonus movement speed for Nando was really strong. Maybe the bonus projectile speed is going to be crazy noticeable though. I'll have to wait and see. They reworked how this card is labeled. It isn't now a percentage, it's just a number, although as far as I know it's the exact same because when you add it up to level 5, it still ends up being half the cooldown. I can't remember because I haven't played Nando in a while, but I'm pretty sure that that's still the same and considering they're also getting rid of all the inbuilt cauterized stuff with loadouts and everything brand no longer is the card that gives you anti heals a lot of the time i wasn't really going with this anyway a lot of the time i was just buying court and then using a different card instead because it made more sense unless i needed anti heals from like right at the start of the match brand now instead of giving you anti heals with your fireball actually heals you for your fireball again it seems like it's a nerf but i haven't played with it so it might be a buff you have the cooldown reduced by half we have brand in there level four and hot pursuit level four very similar to what i had before but now the cards do other stuff we have heat transfer and looks that kill hitting an enemy with our fireball gives us ammo a little bit of reduced cooldown on our charge when we pull our shield up this actually saved my ass a ton of times i feel like this is really strong and in a bit of a surprising turn of events i've actually been able to get a game on eu i was queuing just now as i was doing the intro to the video kind of expecting to have to switch over to na in like 15 minutes after not finding a game but we've been able to find one so i guess i'm actually gonna be able to play with decent ping which makes sense because landing the fireball with ping is absolutely horrible we're doing siege split stone quarry uh, there's the booster for the skin and also for for the battle pass. Do we want to use uh, the one from the last event that I didn't actually get enough time to unlock? Sanguine? I don't know. I really like Helios. You know, I'm going to stick with Helios. This is this is such a cool skin. The neon blue is too nice on this. Shout out to Dark MLG King. That's a gamer name right there. And possibly his I don't know if he's saying that to like the guy saying OMG Frost or, or what, but shout outs to the both of them. Either way, we got a Sky, we got Mia's Nando, we got a Grok, we got a Maeve and a Dredge. We're up against Khan, Willow, Ying, Amani and Eevee. We don't have an Amani. Again, this happened last video. We don't have an Amani. Quite excited to play this. I've delayed this one for quite a while because it's one that I was just either going to play on the PTS or play in live when it came out because it's just something that I wanted to cover because I like Nando. He was one of my favorite characters for a little while to play in ranked and stuff. He's not really that much anymore. I don't play that much Nando, but let's go ahead and grab Scorch and the loadout. How fast is this fireball going to be? That's what's going to be interesting because we've got how much? 60% is it? Yeah, 60%. How fast is the Q? Oh my god, that seems like twice as fast. It's 60%, so it shouldn't be twice as fast but it feels feels crazy there's the fireball so it deals 350 and then 652 on the second hit which seems like a strange number i'm definitely noticing the fact that it doesn't deal as much off base that 60 percent projectile speed is ridiculous i am definitely noticing the the reduced damage but i'm really easily landing the fireball because of the extra speed it's got now so that's kind of cool there's 454 yeah we're gonna run over to try and finish her off i don't know what the play is there's 652 there's a missed ult from calm because you can miss it in 2.01 i could have gone on there to try and trigger it but i don't think we would have been able to hold it for that much longer because they're all just standing there dealing damage. Doing a 1v1 fight against a Khan who's got that legendary card is really, really annoying. Storm of Bullets is annoying as hell to go against when you're a solo tank. He's got his ult back already, wasn't it? Thought it goes down to 30% if you miss it. Am I wrong with that? Does it not go down to 30%? How did he gen 70% of his ult that fast? Obviously, I've cut the video, so you know, you're not going to be able to tell how much time has passed, but not really that much. We're three minutes into the game and he's got two ults up. I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to push this because this game has been clunky as hell so far. Hello, Eevee. There's some damage 
damage for you. I am, I'm definitely noticing the, the like less damage we have on our Q by default, and it kind of sucks. I'm liking the heal, though. Uh, that's cool. There's a, another Eevee ult. Am I just playing dumb? Because there seem to be spamming ults all the time. I understand Eevee's snow glow, but everybody else also seems to have ults up all the time this game. I'm noticing the projectile speed, but I don't really feel like it's worth putting four points into the card, because it's kind of easy to land his fireball anyway. It's not like a slow ability. It's pretty fast by default, so I don't feel like this is necessary. Brand is kind of cool, and obviously incinerate something you need, but damage Nando is definitely not going to be as good, but Nando definitely isn't going to be as strong as he once was. I feel like this is quite a, a nerf to him. I'm going to be pulled by Khan. Am I just dead? There's not really anything I can even do here. I just have to stand and look at Khan's face for ages. There's an Eevee ult. That's not an Eevee. That's a, a sky. There's an Eevee ult. That is an Eevee ult. Okay, let's chuck a Q to you. So it seems like it heals us even if it hits a shield, or did the shield come down? I don't even know. Tried to throw a Q, but I was too slow. Let's F this way. Do I want to ult here? I don't even know what to do right now. I don't think our dredge is human. I'm like 80% sure this dredge isn't an actual person. Maybe that's the reason why we're currently losing. I'll have to wait and see the stats after this game's ended, but right now, I think I can safely put it down to the fact that we have barely any damage output right now. I'm somehow still alive. Grok is hitting me with that 90 tick heal. There's an Amani thing going on. Dredge is just standing this close to me for, for some reason. Yeah, Dredge is 100% a bot. He's doing the thing where he gets stuck on doorways and stuff. You want to see a really cool transition to the menu screen? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, what a transition. Wasn't that fancy? We're on the menu screen. I, I can safely say that there were many reasons we lost that game. Uh, those many reasons being Maeve and Dredge. I would feel mean to say that if they were people, but, you know, I'm like 80% sure they weren't. They both went 1-9. Dredge has one assist. They have 3k damage on the Maeve and 17k on Dredge. You know, I didn't even do that bad. I had 44k. That's pretty good. I did better than the Willow, better than the Amani. Uh, not as good as the Khan and the Eevee because they were just running around wrecking face but I did okay. Our Sky did fine. Our Grok did all right. We just didn't really have a Maeve that was doing anything or a, a Dredge that was doing anything there. Their team was okay. Their Amani was pretty bad. Uh, other than that, they all did pretty good. Eevee and Khan stand out as being particularly good. Let's just go ahead and hit re -Q. I want to change the loadout a little bit. Hopefully this Q doesn't pop too quickly, but I do want to change the loadout because Hot Pursuit doesn't really feel like it's worth even having in there. So I'm going to change out Hot Pursuit and we're going to put in Fearless Leader. This is actually kind of similar to the loadout I use in live for now but I don't have brand in there. I have hot pursuit because it gives movement speed and instead of brand I just buy quarter eyes. I like fearless leader. I think it, it's a cool card to have in there. It helps with the cooldown reset on our Q and stuff but the Q definitely feels like it's had some of its impact removed. Obviously when you get the, the continuous hit it still feels pretty much the same but that first person you hit doesn't really feel like they take that much damage from the fireball. So we're actually able to find a second game on EU. Sick. I think the reason I wasn't able to in previous videos was definitely the time that I was playing because right now I'm playing at a much more sensible time which is probably why I'm able to find a game a lot easier. Looks like we're going to have the full setup for the mech skins. we got me with the Helios one. we got Furia with the matching sort of thing. And Nessa, I think we're missing Andro. And who else? Who else has a skin similar to this? I can't remember off the top of my head. It doesn't matter. We're playing Siege, Ascension, Peak, uh, Please Boost skin. Uh, I don't have the option to. I apparently have 2,400 Battle Pass boosters. Okay, have like 30 in live, but you know, I'll take this in the PTS for some reason, even though, you know, it doesn't really matter because you have infinite currency. We've got a Fury, we've got a Nessa, a Bomb King, and an Eevee, so we have double damage, flank, healer, tank, and we're up against Sky, Mave, Lex, Amani, Ceres, triple flank, damage, healer. Let's go for it. And there's at least like two or three, maybe even four people who are in the last game in this one, because I recognize a lot of names here. That's creepy as hell. I can hear ominous music in the background. If I hit spacebar, listen to what you can hear. All right, so our Eevee didn't connect in. She didn't connect, so she's just wandering around like a bot. And she even says hi. Maybe she's a human, although I very heavily doubt it. Why have they made bots seem like they're human? Why don't they just say, hey, I'm a bot, or like parentheses bot or something? I'm glad we got a chance to test out the projectile speed card and realize that it didn't really make sense to even use just because your fireball is already pretty damn fast. Are you a human, Lex? Are you human? Because this is not a very human play. Well, what is that? Is there just a ton of bots on the PTS? I'm fine with it. Like, if they're making queues faster by adding in bots and stuff, that's fine by me, but it, it just seems strange because it's hard to tell because there's not really an easy way to see if somebody's a bot. I think maybe our Eevee's reconnected. Maybe? I don't know. Amani hasn't got any cards, though. I'm just going to stand on this objective and do my job. There's two of them fighting there, two of us fighting here. Uh, I guess I'll just chill. There's a fireball for you. 450. Thank you very much. Hello, Maeve. Don't know what your plan is, but let's get some good damage on it. There's two fireballs. Okay, where is she? Where is she gone? There she is. Another fireball. Hey, there we go. 
Three fireballs and a kill on a flanker. There's another one. Double kill. Cheeky spray. Nice. Let's go and actually cap the objective. I didn't think I noticed the bonus damage, but I actually have. Having it only deal 450 is pretty noticeable, but I, I feel like you can still play Nano. Nano Nano's still like a viable character to play. He just doesn't have the same sort of damage potential as his. He used to, I guess. Let's pull up a shield there. Is that still going to root me? No. Okay, cool. I still need to learn how Amani's thing interacts with stuff. That's why I'm unsure a lot of the time when you're watching this video how stuff works. Let's get a kill on her or an assist. There's 450 on you and some good tick damage. Hello, Lex. Are you human? I think he is human, but I think he's just not very experienced in Paladins. That's what my guess would be. There's a kill. Oh, Amani, you're in this corner. Were you here the whole time? Amani, please tell me you weren't here the whole time. That's not going to hit you. How much freaking duration are you going to have on that? She flew for like a whole three seconds at least. I'm just going to waddle away. Fireball to the face. There we go. Very nice indeed. There's more people here. Fury is doing a good job on heals. There's a fireball for you. I don't know where exactly she is. I'm going to dash so that I don't die. I still died. Oh, Amani's up there. I didn't even see her. Uh, Fury ulted a second ago, but maybe I was dead because I didn't even see it happen. Uh, there's Nessa trying to run away from Maeve, who's just wreaking freaking havoc on the team. Is that even a sentence that makes sense? It feels like it makes sense, but I'm actually not sure. You are dead. There we go. Let's dash this way. We have got a hell of a lot of cooldown reset on eliminations. That's why we're able to use our stuff so often once we get on a little bit of a streak. There's a kill on him. Hello, Amani. You are a new player. This Amani is 100% a new player alongside Lex. They have not been playing long. Let's go for a push. Hello, Ceres. Are you human? I don't know who's human. That's the thing I'm having to consistently ask this game is like, are you a human? Because I can't tell. Let's finish her off. There we go. Nice. Oh, that was a really, really pointless ult. But hey, I haven't used it yet this video, so why don't we? There's a push failed. What was that play? I don't even know. This game has been awkward as hell. That's the only way I can describe it. This whole video actually has been awkward as hell. I used my ult there just because I haven't used it the whole game, so I might as well use it once. We've got three ults still up there. Maeve is having such a free time just to run around and get damage on people because no one's paying attention to it. I'm trying to, but I don't have anywhere near as much damage as I'd like right now. So I've got Master Riding and Court 2, so we should be able to get to the point a little bit faster than other people. 15% uh, faster, to be exact, as long as I don't mess anything up so there we go we're on the point already that was fast hello lex do you have it as well because that was weirdly timed it felt like you had it too but maybe he doesn't he was quite fast on his mount that's an amani dragon let's go find the amani she's just around here it's really easy to tell where she is because she uses the dragon and then flies over a freaking corner where is she hello amani you're on the edge it's kind of hard to see her because of the cc reduction it's kind of hard to see but there we go we got rid of her nice didn't even tell me that i'd got a kill there nice hello amani what's happening oh you're a hologram sick nice you come here often? Oh, what's bothered, Lex? Can we kill that Lex? There we go. We killed him with our fire damage. Not even bothered that I died there. Gonna wait and try and get more caught. I wish that you were easily able to tell where she was because she has like the yellow glow and she kind of blends in a little bit. They really should make it so that she doesn't have that and that you can tell where she is because she should have like a red outline around her or something because sometimes she just blends in a little bit too much. Hello, Sky. I think that hit you. Let's just do this because I don't actually know where you are. There's some damage on the Ceres. She's here somewhere. What did she go into her F? Of course she went into her F. It's a freaking Ceres. I'm an idiot sometimes. Where's this guy? I don't know, but there's 450 and a 400 heal on myself from that. I'm sorry I dodged it. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I effed into a wall. I'm so dead. I'm on 400 health and our fury is dead. There we go. Goodbye, cruel world. I really can't wait to see these stats. I swear to God if I have top damage on my team as a Nando. I swear to God. Oh, great. I have like a mini shield on my mount. This is a fantastic bug. Look at him. He's got a little automatic defense system. Hello, Sky. You're on an 11 streak. I can't do much on you 1v1. There's a fireball, though. Did we land that twice? No, we didn't. Hello. I still have that little mini shield that doesn't do anything. Eevee, just type damage O. Let's grab more court. No, that's really going to make a huge difference. Furious trying with heals. We just don't really have enough damage out, but it feels like the same sort of thing. They don't even have a goddamn tank this time around. She's just ulted with the dragon. Let's go find out where she is. I'm guessing she's just here. Yep, there we go. Let's finish her off any second. Let's get rid of the dragon. Yep, there we go. It takes its sweet time, but we got rid of her. There's a fireball. Can we just go and trigger overtime, please? I need to just take a shortcut and trigger overtime. Hello, overtime? No, I'm not going to be able to do it. Nice. I, I go and flank the Amani. It's not even my job to flank the Amani. It really should be, you know, one of the, the flankers or damages that goes and kills the Amani. But it's always me. I've done it twice now. Eevee is saying I'm really good, uh, not you.
<laughs> what? What? <laughs> there we go. We managed to get rid of the Lex. Nice. I'm just going to stand on this point because if I don't, we ain't going to be able to win it. Where is everybody? Hello, hello, Maeve. There's 400 for you or less than that because you have mad damage reduction. Uh, there's another Q. Okay. I got it to 93%. Can we just go and actually cap it? Can we go and finish this point, please, so we can at least stand a chance of winning this game? Ness is here on the left. She actually managed to kill Lex. Uh, nice. What's popping, Ceres? There's some damage for you. There's my shield. There's a Q on that Amani. Holy shit. I calibrated that perfectly. There's a Q down there. There's a dead Bomb King. I don't really know what I can do here. I thought Maeve was up there. I landed my fireball for like a K. Ness is trying to snipe on the left. The best Eevee in the world is currently flanking. Is she going to get a kill? E Eevee? E Eevee? I what? I can't really be mad, but I, I don't really understand what that game was. Like, that could have easily have not been a 1-4 a loss there, but we managed to have a 1-4 loss. Amani has top play, so she killed Vanessa, and then she kills uh, the Fury, and then she gets a free kill on Eevee. I don't know what she was trying to do. Uh, I'm a little bit sorry that both of the games today haven't really been all that great. They yeah, really haven't. I, I do apologize for that. Let's go ahead and see the stats, because Eevee apparently is really good, and the, the Nessa isn't. Nessa was the only person in that game that I even noticed, alongside Fury a little bit. Let's go and, and see the stats. And I, I had top damage on my team by double. <laughs> <laughs> other than the EV by like a little bit their sky did beat me I'm guessing she went debilitate that's why she has so much damage indeed so sky technically beat me and we actually beat their Maeve and their Marnie there I just don't understand what that match was to be honest I had 52k which is fine I'd find damage last game as well it's just the fact that the team wasn't really there to come together Nessa went 285 and had 21k Bomb King had 25k and EV had 28k I have no idea how you could play Bomb King Nessa EV and have a 12 minute game where you have nearly half of your tanks damaged. It's a bit strange. Fury did okay. Ceres was alright. Lex was alright, I guess. Maeve and, and Sky were the only people who really stuck out there. It was actually doing pretty good there. Amani, uh, you know, was really, really good against that team because nobody seemed to know how to kill the, the dragon or anything. I'm not mad, obviously, at all. I'm just a little bit confused because both of these games were quite stacked in the enemy's favor. Both of the matches, it, it felt like it was me and maybe one other person who was semi decent uh, and then just three people who didn't really know what was going on there. I, I don't really know. I'm not particularly bothered, but there's the new Nando. It's quite a significant nerf, although it's kind of hard to judge off two games that went the way that you just saw. I think most people would probably rather have the fireball deals just more damage to the first person and then has less scaling because a lot of the time that scaling doesn't even feel fair because if you're at the end of the line, you can't even see the fireball and you get hit in like the fourth person in the line, you just lost like all of your health. So that feels really cheesy. I'd rather fireball just deal more damage by default and then has less scaling than has less damage by default and then scales harder. I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Obviously, let me know what you want to see me do next as well. I'll see you all very, very soon. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, stay frosty.